Alright guys, I've got another video for you. Um, I'm not sure which um, folder I'm going to put this one in, um, as I don't know when I'm going to give it to you exactly, but I have it in the week 4 folder right now. So you can, and what it is is the banana loop challenge, so if you click on that it will download it for you, or well it will bring you to this and you click it and you download it. I also put the file in the catalog, so right here, banana loop challenge zip. There's also the other one I went ahead and added that in there too, so you could click either one of those to get your challenges. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to extract this into the right folder. So there's my banana loop challenge. I'm going to go to where I'm storing my um, my Godot project stuff. So documents, coding, Godot, projects, and I want to put it in this projects folder. So here's my banana loop challenge. I'm going to do extract. I'm going to get rid of this last one here and I'm gonna hit extract there's my banana loop challenge perfect All right, let's run Godot and let's get it imported correctly so I'm gonna click on import browse I'll go to coding Godot projects banana loop challenge and this project.go.import import right here this is what we want to do so I'm gonna click open import and edit <clears throat> alright so we're on the scene I'm gonna just hit the big play button up here on the top and it says what up gamer let's test your memory on for loops we have a wonderful banana tree with many different types of bananas alter the code inside of the banana holder node so that it colors the bananas correctly depending on their mass. Let's go. And then if you hit close, you'll see that 50 bananas get created. And these bananas have a random mass. So the game is creating random bananas for you. And your job is to go to the banana holder node and have it check all of the bananas and change the color of the banana based upon how much mass or how heavy the banana is so I'm gonna click over here on the side I'll go to the banana holder script there it is right there and then you'll see that I organized it for you so you can figure out where you need to put your code right here there's some lines that says your loop goes here this is how you change the color of a banana and this is how you get access to all of the bananas right there so this bananas that holds all of the bananas for you all you need to do is create a loop a for loop that will check each one of these bananas and color them either red or either green red yellow gray purple or black from zero to one is green one to two is red 2 to 3 is yellow, 3 to 4 is gray, 4 to 5 is purple, and 5 and larger is black. So you need to check the banana's mass. You want to know how much mass does the banana have and then color it accordingly. You can check the banana's mass by using dot mass so you would say bananas dot mass so like if I open up let's open up one of these bananas here if we click on the banana over here on the side you'll see that it has a um, property called mass so to access the mass you'll just say dot mass and you can check and see what the size of the mat what the mass of the banana is all right that's it for this one Hope you guys can figure it out. I'll see y'all in the next one.